Seatbelts, everyone! Please let this be a normal field trip with a friend. No way! Cruising on that main street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Yeah. Next thing that you know, you'll see it. Octopus in the neighborhood, surfing on the sound wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left at Joe and Tatton, take your second right past Mars. I'm a magic school bus. Navigator Nostro, I'm on the magic school bus. Make a plane turn two. Take that, I'm on the magic school bus. Rock the river of love, I'm a magic school bus. Such a fine thing to do. Oh, yeah. Take a right past Mars. So strap your bones right to the seat. Come on in and don't be shy. Just to make your day complete, you might get baked into a pie on the magic school bus. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, ride right on the magic school bus. Checked, Wanda. The Double Trouble Wheel of Wonder is ready to roll. So are we, Arnold. We've already sold 689 tickets. And we just gave the money to the benefit for the animal shelter. That's just for openers, Beep. We're going to be the hottest ticket at the carnival. Crowd control in place. Stand by to be energized. Three, two, one. It's showtime. <laughs> Chairperson of the safety committee. Okay, so who's the chairperson of the powered up committee? Uh, you are, Carlos. Carlos! Is it just me, or does it take electrical energy to run a Ferris wheel? Um, well, hey, don't blow a fuse. All I gotta do is plug it in. <laughs> Gonna give it the goose when I plug in the juice. Here goes. <laughs> Oh no, it's shorted out. Snap out of it, guys. We gotta get this wheel moving before the ticket holders get hopping mad. Woohoo! Whoa, don't know about mad, but I'm hopping up and down to ride the double troubled wheel of wonder. Miss Frizzle? Um, we need your help, Miss Frizzle. I leap at the opportunity. Plug me into the problem, Carlos. That is the problem, Miss Frizzle. No electricity. We hooked up the cable and it went kablooey. No energy, no motion. No rides on the Ferris wheel. And that was the last cable, too. No need to get hectic over electric. It's not the only source of energy. It's not? Nope. The world is full of energy. You just have to find it, harness it, and put it to work for you. Find it? Harness it? Put it to work? We don't have time. Sounds like we need an expert. Hey, Mikey, come in. <gasps> not Mikey! Last time your little brother helped out, we really got burned. Okay, so we took a ride through my serum and sizzle marshmallow smoker. But you must admit, those marshmallows were certainly tasty. Yeah, and I had a heat rash for days. I'd rather turn this thing by hand than ask Mikey for help. That's it, manpower. Don't you mean person power, Ralphie? Whatever, Phoebe. Come on, guys. Ah, uh, people, let's crank it up. Turn! <laughs> Phew, this is hard. Wow, what a ride. We could probably go around at least once by sunset. Come on, Carlos, this is serious. We need energy to move this thing, not jokes. Oh, if we don't get it moving soon, we'll have to call the riot police. I suppose we could refund their money. We can't do that. What about all those poor, helpless animals at the shelter? What about them? Phoebe's right. We can't let them down. Call Mikey. It's really just a matter of delivering the right amount of energy to the right spot. Mikey, come in, Mikey. Hang on a sec. Yo, Carlos, what's up? The Wheel of Wonder is grounded. I plugged it in, and it went kablooey. No problem, bro. 
there's a big world out there loaded with energy. All we gotta do is find it. I couldn't have said it better myself. Clear the runway. I'm on my way. So, what was that about delivering the right amount of energy to the right spot? Well, let me put it this way, my friend. It's when motion makes commotion. <laughs> <laughs> Falling rock turned the Ferris wheel. Whoa! You got it! Excuse me! And if the energy of one falling rock can turn it once, imagine what a whole bunch of rocks could do. Yo, Mikey! At your service, I'm ready to roll. Hey, Dorothy Ann! Glad to see you got rid of that rash. Excuse me, but as head of the safety committee, I don't think falling rocks are a safe thing to use. Got it covered, Arn. The rocks will fall into one set of seats while the people ride in the other. Why didn't I think of that? Yeah, when I was Mikey's age, I was still doing weight and volume in the sandbox. Let's go rock hunting, you guys. But what about the crowd? They're getting restless. <laughs> Somebody has to stay here and make sure they don't tear down the Ferris wheel next. Who's going to do that? How about you? Oh, wait a minute. Hold it a second. Okay, class, let's rock and roll. But I'm just one kid. What can I do? Wing it, Carlos. May the rocks be with you soon, Carlos. Buckle up, everyone. Okay, Miss Frizzle, it's rock power we're after. We want to find it, harness it, and put it to work. Whatever moves you, Mikey. Bus, do your stuff. Boulders! Gazillions of them! All we gotta do now is get them to the top of the map. How? Carry them one by one, then drop them on the Ferris wheel? Uh, speaking of dropping, that's not a bad idea, Ralphie. Take chances! Make mistakes! Wahoo! The Frizz picks up everything! Don't you think she could have warned us we were going to eject? I heard that, Arnold. Now look out below. Prepare for landing. Catch you later, class! Not not Who's, Who's there? there? No fair! No, no fair! Who? Who? No Ferris wheel yet! Ha <laughs> ha! Mikey, do you copy? Over! 10-4! Where are those rocks? We're working on it. According to my research, ugh, at the rate we're going, we should have enough rocks at the top of the mountain. Ugh, by the time I'm 62. Dee's right. We'll never get enough rocks to the top of the mountain to power the Ferris wheel. There must be another way. Oops. Ralphie, you chipped it. They're rocks, Arnold. Not in teats. Do something, Mikey. I'm out of jokes and blowing hot air. It's blowing pretty good here, too. Wait, Cap, come back here. Hey, if the wind has enough energy to move Ralphie's cap like that, maybe it could move these rocks. Yeah. Right, Phoebe. Like the wind is going to blow the rocks up the mountain? Hmm. Not a bad idea, Keisha. Ever heard of a windmill? The wind turns the blade of the windmill that turns a drum which moves the conveyor belt that carries the rocks up the mountain and drops them on the Ferris wheel. Wow. I have to hand it to you, Mikey. This is a pretty cool idea. Can I have my belt back now? Is it just me, or do we have a little size problem here? Yeah. Where are we going to get a windmill big enough to move boulders to the top of the mountain? As I always say, where there's a will, there's a windmill. How far can a dog run into the forest? How far? Halfway. After that, he's running out. <laughs> Any luck, Liz? 
I didn't think so.